Hey guys, there's Soft Tech here, and today we're going to be checking out a gun that I've been working on recently. I just got it done, and it's really awesome. It's GMP M4. It's got a lot of really awesome parts in it, so let's get down to it. So when the customer came to me, he wanted to build something that was incredibly reliable. He wanted to build something that had some of the best parts in it, but didn't have like some ridiculous round, like RPS or ridiculous FPS. He just wanted a really good, reliable field gun. So that's what I built for him. Internally, what we're looking at is since it's a GMP, I kept the GMP gearbox shell. The GMP gearbox shell is actually incredibly strong, so there's no point in actually replacing it, if you ask me. They're tanks. Now, I did replace the gear set. I replaced them with a Siege Tech a Gen 3 14 to 1 SSG gear set, and um, that gives us our durability there. Those gears are not going to break anytime soon. It's going to be an incredibly long time before they break, if they ever do break, on this setup. In addition, I have an SHS M130 spring in here, a JG Blue. Um, SHS 15 tooth piston, a nuke vet, and just some other little parts here and there. ZCI full cylinder, I believe there's an SHS metal cylinder head in there, and an SHS air nozzle, a King Arms tap plate, because King Arms tap plates are fantastic. And that's really about it. Also, there's an SHS anti reversal latch in there. So, a lot of things are replaced, and actually, even the bearings are replaced. I just almost, almost forgot. There are modified 8 millimeter, 8 millimeter tempered bushings. Those things are awesome. I actually really like those bushings. However, I did have to shave one down to get the bevel pinion shimming just right. Now as far as the hop-up and barrel is concerned, I did keep the stock GMP hop-up chamber because, well, GMP hop-up chambers, like their gearbox shells, get the job done they get a job, and then they get that job done very well. The barrel is a military action 6.03 285mm barrel. It works just fine. I did put a Lonex 70 degree bucking in here because GMP buckings are okay, they could be better. So we threw in a Lonex 70 degree bucking. I haven't touched it, so it's remained just this regular bucking. It's not flat off, nothing like that. And we're getting really good results actually. As you can see with the chronograph, it's getting anywhere from 380, 395 FPS, or sorry, 385, 390 FPS. My chronograph is crazy screwy, so I'm, some things are really weird with it. One of the rounds I was chronoing a while back, and this wasn't on the video, read like 490, but it was like phased and blurry, so my chrono definitely glitches out a lot, you know, here recently. So I'm going to be getting a new one with those X-Cortec ones, like I've been saying. So no worries, I'm going to be getting one. Uh, overall, this is a fantastic build. I really do like it. Um, the sound it makes, you know, from cycling is weird because a lot of pinions just don't mesh well with Siege Tech Gen 3 pedals. I'll cycle it right here. It's, just, it's always going to be squeaky sounding. And there's not much you can do to get around that, especially with these Siege Tech bevels. Even Siege Tech pinions themselves don't mesh well with Siege Tech Gen 3 bevels. Personally, I prefer the Gen 2 design that has that's the two-piece bevel that meshes you know, infinitely better with a ton more pinions. However, this is going to have to do for now. It's not said this system is bad, it's just not what I personally want. Um, but other than that, this is a successful build. It is getting a little bit of over volume because the full cylinder on a 285mm barrel. M130 spring, decent over volume going on. So heavier BBs are going to be more efficient. But uh, until next video, I will see you guys later. I'm the Airsoft Tech, and this is a successful build.